Hi, thanks for joining me on the Jim Sapphire channel. I also invite you to check out my Instagram account, Jim Sapphire. So today is part three of three of my Pat McGrath Mothership palette series. So today I'm going to be going over the Mothership 3 Subversive palette. In my mind, I've nicknamed it the pink palette. Not just because of the packaging, but also because of the uh, several of the colors have a pink dual chrome to it. So I'm going to start off by swatching the different colors and doing a look. So please join me towards the end when I do the look. So just like the other two palettes, it comes in this, you know, once you take it out of the box, it comes in a similar packaging. And then she gives this little sleeve that has the names of each color. I mean, it's a pretty sturdy packaging. It has a very thick mirror. So I'm gonna go over the first row and the bottom row in terms of colors. So I've already swatched the first row on this arm and I thought it'd be helpful if I showed you both the, uh, the color dry and wet. So going across is Skin Show, Skin Show Fever, dry and wet, Night Creature. So I would say Skin Show Fever it's a little bit of a shimmer, light creature, more metallic. Deep shade is definitely a, a matte brown. As you can see when I wet it, I feel like the color really does come out. Like it kind of pieces it together. Without wetting it, it kind of, the eyeshadows sort of have a dispersed look to it. And then Gigabyte, which is this gold, but then when you wet it, it has a little bit of dark, dark undertones, almost, I want to say black or, or brass. And then the last color on the first row is VR pink. So a little bit of peach, a little bit of pink, and that really shows when you, when I wet it. So these are all the swatches of this first row. And then on my other arm, is going to be the second row. So, so here we go. This is extreme black. And see when I wet it, the, the, it, the black is much more put together, much darker. And then, then, oh yeah, this is a matte, definitely. Then the next one is another brown in her collection called Lazarus. This one, unlike the top row deep shade, which is a true brown matte, this one definitely has a little bit of a shimmer metallic to it. And then the third color is black metal. You know, we're going into this kind of glitter, I would say metallic at this point. And then this one, Bite Amethyst. I think it becomes more obvious when I wet it, as you can see. I would, I would nickname this the mermaid color, just because when I swatch it, you, you'll see a little bit of blue, a little bit of purple, a little bit of pink. So this is uh, slowly becoming one of my favorite colors out of this palette. And then this last one, Astral Ghost Orchid. Then only you have to wet it to bring out the, the flecks of pink and peach. This is the repeat color. You'll find this also in the in the palette too. Also, you'll find the extreme black as a repeat in palette too. So all these swatches are of the second row. So just um, just to reiterate, the matte colors are deep shade, extreme black, and yeah, those are the two mattes. And then in terms of dual, dual chrome, definitely VR pink, Gigabyte, Astro Ghost pink, no, Astro Ghost Orchid, Blitz Amethyst. And then metallic is 
is, let's see, Black Meadow. So I will start off with saying that the Mothership Dree palette, Subversive, is not an all-inclusive palette. So I will have to pull in another palette first in order to do the, the brow color. So one of the palette, eyeshadow palettes that I like to use in terms of brow color and transition color is from Tarte, the Tartlet in Bloom. So I'm going to use my Wayne Goss brushes. So number... This fluffy brush from Wayne Goss, number 16. So from the Tartlet one, uh, the front part of my eyebrow, Flower Child, and then the outside Charmer. And a lot of times I like to use Sweetheart for the transition. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And the Wayne Goss 17 to put on the transition color. I know sometimes it's tempting to skip these steps, but it really makes for a more finished look at, look at the end. So definitely don't skip on the eyebrow color and the transition shade. Okay, so now I'm gonna start going into the Pat McGrath Mothership Dree Palette. So tonight I'm going to be wearing a red dress, so I'm going to try to stick to those colors in the palette. So in my inner corner, I wanted to use the Astral Ghost Orchid. So this one right here, I would say with the Pat McGrath eyeshadows, really, they don't pop until you wet them. Or at least that's how I like to use them. <coughs> Sorry about that. Seasonal allergies. Okay, so let me go back to the 17 brush and wet that with my, my MAC Prep and Prime. I'm going to dip into the Astro Ghost Orchid to the inner corner. As I apply more, I can start seeing a bit of shimmer, a little bit of sparkle. So it's not a matte white. It's more of a sheer white with a little bit of flecks of pink, for sure. And then the uh, color that I like to put in the middle is called VR Pink. This one right here. So again, I'm gonna wet the. I'm gonna wet the 18 brush. Okay. I mean, you can use them dry, but honestly, the, the, the dual color really does not come out until you wet them. There you go. So it's even more pink compared to the um, Astro Ghost Orchid. So. Ooh, <laughs> see? You see what I mean? I mean, of course, if, if you'd, you would like a less sheer look at the end, you can also, you know, go to a matte. But I feel like at night, I mean, just the shimmer itself is a, enough for me in terms of the final look. So in my mind, I, I've nicknamed this palette the pink palette, and I, I think you can kind of see why. And then, let's see. And then I'm gonna go ahead and 
use night creature right here for the inner corner. So I'll do that. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to wedding. Yeah, you see what I mean? I mean, these these are best wet. Mm -hmm. I would say her her this palette particularly uh, it's not something you would wear to work, but <laughs> def definitely the looks are for going out. Mm -hmm. Let me smudge with the number 20 brush. So I'm going to use this eyeliner from Shuing Mura from the uh, Super, Super Mario Brothers Nintendo Collection eyeliner for my uh, waterline. And this one from Marc Jacobs called Fine Wine. See, there's seasonal allergies. It drives me crazy. And then I'm gonna use this eyeliner from MAC called Squid. Just the. To... See what I mean? In no time, you have this very vibrant eye look without any fallout. So just join me at the end so you can see the final look. Hi, thanks for joining me to the end of the video. This is the final look. So I would say my thoughts on the Mothership 3 Subversive palette. Definitely one of my favorite palettes out of the, the three. I would say the only con is it's not all inclusive. So yes, I, I did have to uh, use another eyeshadow palette in order to do my brow color and my transition color But I mean I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes that have the same issue if you can get past that I would say this is this is a great palette for going out at night and I like that it has you know a mix of mattes metallics dual chrome shimmers It's definitely not the kind of palette for a shy person <laughs> You definitely have to love color and want to stand out so if you like, please click like, and I hope to see you next time.